Hey everyone, this is Paul Gaither. This is my Xbox 360 dashboard. It is Christmas, 25th of December 2023. It is 3 p.m. at time of recording. Figure maybe y'all want to just uh, hang out, chill, talk Madden on this Christmas afternoon from my perspective. It's summertime, so you got a nice cool drink by my side here in South America in Peru. I'm sure it's winter time up there for you. Maybe a nice warm drink. Whatever it is got you by your side. I know that I'm biding my time before the big Niners-Ravens game. 8 p.m. my time. Five plus hours away. I don't plan on burning too much of your time. I would actually like to post this thing so you could watch it and chill with me. And I don't need to do like a whole long video essay on the history of football games on the consoles. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of you here are like, dude, play 12, play 25 that you love so much, play All-Pro Football 2K8, play all that. And it's like, maybe we will. Probably we will. It's Christmas Day. Why, why play garbage games when you could play good games? I want to kind of throw on some of the other games for like just a few minutes, just to kind of show you some ideas and like some comparisons as we talk about the different games. I can actually visually demonstrate it. Um... I think I want to fire up these two games, but for like five minutes or less, just so we can like see them, make comparisons, have some foundational points. Not that you need it, like these are classic games. We're gonna get through all this intro. Got like mute music to the game so that we don't get copyright strikes. This game's got an intro. I think I just skipped it. Yeah, by pressing buttons, I did. It's got a famous intro, an infamous intro, but I skipped it. Let's go to hard drive, and it didn't even save my profile from my previous video that I made. So you watch me play. We go in here. Um, let's go to my Madden. Let's go to settings. Let's go to volume control, and let's try to not deal with copyright problems. And let's look about the very first thing that is super obviously missing. There is no practice mode. You can't even go into practice. Okay. We go to rosters. We go to player management. I don't care who the player is. Let's just go to Tim Rattay. Look, that's what his face looks like. I say that because when we go and look at the game and just see what kind of an atrocity of a face they give him as a random face... Look, when we click on the player, release him or trade him. That's what you got. Right click, biography, contract, skills, career stats. Like, the menu is just so, so awful. It's like, if you have to have the controller in your hand, you have to play it yourself, which I don't recommend you do. You have to play it yourself just to see how, like, clunky and bad it is. Player management. We can pick teams and positions or whatever and sort them and then what release them or trade him we can't edit their equipment we can't change his number we can't do anything right roster breakdown Ooh, the breakdown like who cares free agents okay Benny Testaverde, you want to sign him to the team or whatever? Like, do you want to edit him? You can't edit your players. You can't do anything. Right? So, there's no editing. The franchise is super bare bones. We can look at it in a few moments. There's no practice mode. Look at play now. Just sit back and enjoy the presentation of play now. I guess, like, one thing I could say is at least there's, like, something football-related here. I'm going to mention that when we get to the other games while I'm talking about that. Like, Madden 09 is famous for being the Fortress of Solitude and not looking like football. Looking like uh, Superman's Fortress of Solitude. Um, at least there's some, like, football elements here, like the scoreboard, the angle, and all of that. This feels like looking up at the Seattle Seahawks um, scoreboard for some reason. Like, at the that tower that they have. Um, so you can go through your teams, and it's like, seriously, who cares? Whatever. Let's go, um, let's, let's play at the Seahawks place. Let's even see if that ends up being, like, a thing. It's a 49ers. And the Seahawks. Okay? 
So if I click on them, you can be home or away uniforms, right? No classic uniforms, nothing like that. So that's it. That's all you got. Basic uniforms. Hey, they just had to get something in the box for you to buy. We do not care about the difficulty, and let's even cut the length of this game. Let's really cut the length of this game. This is not even play the whole thing, right? That's not the point. Um, in the afternoon or whatever. Yeah. Weather, December. Okay, sure, whatever. Advance. Controls. Okay, there's a loading screen, right? Watch this player, watch this game intro. I mean, I'm sure you saw it if you watched the other game, right? Heads or tails? This is it. Heads or tails? Tails. You want to receive or whatever? We're already on the field, I guess. At the stadium. Okay. No team captains for all of that. Like a real game. Now player intros come after the coin toss. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that tower up there is what we were looking at, or, or EA's interpretation of it. The Hawk's Nest. Alright, so we're going to pause it. And you hear the 49ers radio network is the same voice for every single team. And they just choose whoever the player is for to say that network. That's fine. I love these camera angles in the pause menu. I kind of miss them. Like, it's one thing that blew me away originally. is like all of these cinematic, un, like not real life, but really showing off. Yeah, that is, that's the board, huh? That we have in the game. So the Seahawks are... The, uh, the option menu, that angle there, that's what I was waiting for. How beautiful is that shot? Like, if we want to talk about nice things in this game, it has shots that you can only get with, like, a drone now. But, like, when this game came out in 2005, like, they're just fantasy shots. They're video game shots that you just, you're not going to get. They're not going to set up cranes and do all that kind of stuff that you needed to to get those shots. Like, maybe not all of them are impossible, but you get the idea. Like, they have some gorgeous shots like i forget who's in charge of photography and, and all of that stuff uh like more or whatever um but my goodness did they do a good job with that really pretty kind of a dizzying spin that they have going on here the players move around terribly I like that shot, but I also, who cares about the roof? Let's go play type. Let's go inside handoff. The 49ers will start the drive at the 23-yard line. First shot of the team, breaking the huddle. Look at that face. That's what I said. Check out that face. Um, we got to snap the ball. we got to run the play. But because the play clock, I pause it. The playbook is lacking so much. Like, I don't want to get into the deep tactics for such a garbage game. But the playbook is so basic. Again, it just it feels like an alpha build. It really feels like an incomplete alpha build. 07 feels like a beta build. And 08 feels like a final release version that should have been, like, what you really put for sale on this console generation. And everything else before that. I'm not saying 08 some great title. It's just, like, it feels like they actually put something that you would pay money for to play, right? And then say, oh, the next time they're going to get better, right? The playbooks are so bad. The Seahawks come out of the On the ground, the Slips into the open field. The action replay is nice. The controls feel okay. The players are, like, how can I say, like, the player models, you can say you don't like them. They definitely have an artistic style to them, right? They get more realistic later on. 
But look at this dude's face. That is not Tim Rattay, like, at all. Let's go to strategy depth chart. Like, that's not that dude's face at all. And Alex is not going to look... He's going to look something like Alex, like a stylized cartoon version of Alex, where they've got Frank. Frank Gore from Miami. Very famous, like, player that people... I, I was surprised that he was taken in the third round. I know he had his injury, but to fall that low... He had high expectations, and his face is in this game really well. Look at these inside runs. Like, where's just the regular eye strong? Right? Like, it's not even there. Maybe it's in another playbook. I don't care. Like, Alex has something that could maybe resemble Alex. Right? Like, we just keep scrolling. Where it's just, like, a strong eye. Like, I don't... I don't see it. They're in goal line defense. Cover zero. So they got no edge. Yeah, the defensive AI is just atrocious. Like, this is their defensive play. All right, double, like, double gap here. All right, put the safeties, put everyone up. Put everyone up on this side. And they just have two guys to the right of the center. Left, defense is left, but two guys, defensive left of center. I guess three blockers and no one else. And, oh my god, how did he get away? How did that happen? I said Frank Gore looks a lot, a lot like Frank Gore. It's like they brought him in for face scans or something. They got him right, right out the gate. You know? The controls, like, got to get some getting used to. Like, the A button is not stiff arm or whatever. It's uh, L trigger, which I was using. But then L trigger is, like, pitch the ball in the NCAA game. So it's like the controls are just, like, a complete mess. For how many years in Madden... Like, we've already had the PS2 and Xbox original controls and all that stuff, and we still don't have controls figured out yet. Right? It was a nice stiff arm. It's just, where are the run plays? And you saw it when I was playing against the AI. It was like, what's going on? We're not going to play this whole game or anything. Just look at these cutscenes. It's nice. It's... Definitely something when you're showing off at like when you're showing this game off at Walmart or something, and it's in like preview mode, computer playing the computer. And it's got all these cutscenes. It is designed to just what's the expression? If you can't dazzle them with genius, then baffle them with bullshit, right? It's like this game is designed to just be glitz and surface level appeal to people who have expectations and memories of the PS2 game and just trick people into buying it. Right? How good would this game have been if you just took the PS2 game, imported it, and slapped these graphics and visual presentation on top of it? What would people have thought about it? The, they keep the old control and feel of the old game. Just give it these visuals. People can say the visuals could get better and na 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 but if you just took all this visual presentation and you still have the PS2 uh, features and gameplay and, and the way the controls feel and everything, but these are the player models. Like, how would people feel? And these are the camera and the graphics. The touchdown. Against that great defensive AI. Now you can say we can play on a harder difficulty or whatever. But if you had PS2 gameplay with these visuals, people would have been far more impressed and far more lenient if you could have just done that. Just reskin the game. Set the cameras. Whatever. Here's this kicking. What a dumb kicking thing. 
The arrow flips back and forth. So, I like the idea of the radio announcer. I like these paused camera angles. I, there's several things that I will say that I do enjoy and that I do appreciate if you're just trying to like keep positivity on the channel here as much as possible. We're going to go back home. Like I said, we're not going to waste too much of your time. We're like 15 minutes in the video. Um, hope you didn't feel that was too much of a waste. And, and at least a balanced approach, an idea. Like I can talk some smack about it, which is not too hard. Lois hanging fruit around. But also at least talk about some positives and maybe you don't like the things, maybe you disagree with them, maybe you think that the player models are ugly and then they, they needed to be not stylized and they needed to look more like they eventually become. And yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you, I'm just trying to say, hey, they had a style. They picked a style, they went with it, right? Um, they didn't look realistic on the PS2 either, but they had a style and we liked it. And the style changed, like Madden 1, 2, 3, 4 had a style. 05 and 06 had a style, and then like the 06, 07, 08 or whatever, like you see the transition. Like 05 doesn't look like 08, 05 doesn't look like 04, right? Um, they had a style and they changed and they shifted their style over the years. They had a style here, and they continued to shift and change it. Um, so there was an intro to this game. There was a fantastic intro to this game. The intro to this game gets you hyped for playing football, and we're going to play that in a little bit. No intro in Madden 07. None at all. Just skip the BS, get straight to the game. Right? So let's do the EA same. A sports to the game. Yeah, it's so nice to see HD gaming. When you're used to playing on a CRT and you buy yourself your 42 inch TV, your HD TV. And you plug in your 360 and you get your HDMI cables and you do all that from your regular, like, red, yellow, white cable, like, 420p, whatever, like, you know, like, CRT TV, and you go up to this. Oof. That's nice. Okay, and then you get this, like, okay, what's your favorite team? And then the very f next thing we've got to do is go to settings and go to volume control and go to mini music and dump it out. Okay. And so one of the things I mentioned is um, <clears throat> the look of football. Right? That's a theme that I'm going to constantly come back to. We've got a picture of Frank Gore. That's it. Remember Madden 02's menu where it had like a 3D model of the player running around and dancing and doing their moves and stuff? How nice would that be to have in this game? <clears throat> like how nice would the menus be? They put a little more effort here. Right here, the play now menu. They even play with this idea. Like look at these pixels. They intentionally have pixels that are like blown out. They have pixels that are like too bright. Right? They're like, I don't know, overexposed. I don't know what the term is. They have like their normal pixels. They have their pixels that are flaring off. They have their blown out pixels in between. It's all this kind of like weird, like, look at me, I'm glittery, but I'm also pretending that I'm gritty. I'm gritty and glittery at the same time. It's weird. Everything's at an angle. You see that too? When we go to 08, like this little menu that's like, we're looking at it from like a slightly tilted degrees to the left. You know, and like instead they just square up. Like they get rid of that BS. We go to the next game. Look at the Cardinals. They have the Chargers behind them. And the like they have the teams like layered below it. It's like here we see the Buccaneers. And below that you can see Arizona. And then below that you can see the helmet of the Chargers. Like, and you see the uh, Chiefs below that. That's kind of, like, weird, interesting, cool, whatever, all at the same time. Just like you've got the Giants logo and all that, like, all these, like, layers. It's both cool and kind of dumb. Because when I'm looking at the Cardinals, if, if the Cardinals were my favorite team, I don't want to see, like, the Chargers behind it. I want to see the team that I picked. I don't know, that's me. I don't want to be, like, too nitpicky and, like, weird and complaining. It's just kind of showing you, like, different perspectives, right? Oh, now we're switching... Angles to the left and the right. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, look at us. Okay. 
game modes. So, new practice mode. Not available in a previous Madden game. Well, okay, it was available like in all Madden games, but it wasn't in the 06 version. So, new Madden gamer level. Nobody cares. Hall of Fame, really, but does anyone really care? Superstar, that was in the last gen, and it's kind of back, but not really very much. And many games that are not what you remember from Madden 03 and Madden 04 and all that, that you actually love, these are not good. And we're not even going to waste our time with them. But they're there, yeah! And then rosters, new! You can look at rosters, you can <clears throat> create a player, finally! New features and controls. Strategy, like, hey, we actually have a game... That you want to play. I'm not a good game, but it's like a beta. It's in a stage where it's like almost ready to be done. Right? Like we're almost there. Player management. Like, this is what I also don't like about it. like the faces. They have this pixelated face thing. Like, I want clear HD pictures of these dudes' faces. Not this pixelated scoreboard thing. That we're looking at. I, I don't get it. So we can take a look at a player. And again we can release them. We can trade them. That's what we can do. Contract skills. All of that. And uh, yeah. You're not going to be able to edit their player number. Or their equipment or any of their things right now. And then franchise is not new, and they didn't really change it. Like what they, if I remember, what they pretty much built in six is the same basic menu for seven. <clears throat> you start it. You got the preseason. It's all the same stuff as before. Yep. How do I even? Look at things like, this is simulating stuff, this is play it. How do I even look at, yeah, this is your franchise rosters, or whatever. Like, if you need to sign a free agent or something, if someone's on the injury block, or whatever. Like, injury block, injury reserve, or the trade block. Like, it's still just super bare bones. Here's the preseason, play it. Here's the whatever, play it. Like, have fun, whatever. So it's still just, hey, we've added stuff. Like, we actually completed the game, mostly. Oh, I don't want to save. That's not what I wanted. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to play against the Seahawks as the 49ers. And, yeah, just like before, you can't have computer versus computer game. It does not exist. So you get home and away uniforms. Again, that's what you get. Time, 1 p.m. <clears throat> at Quest Field. But you see, the pregame is a little bit better. You see, the pregame is now the same, but it's loaded, I guess. Heads or tails. No one meeting at the middle of the field for the coin toss. Now we got fireworks and a helmet. Everyone gets a helmet. Everyone gets fireworks. Everyone gets the run out with the few star players. I mean, hey, it's fine. Player models are a little crisper. They're a little less outrageous. You get the fireworks. You get the other team. So you get to see both teams. That's an improvement. 
Like a team captain hyping his guys up. Welcome to the broadcast. Same camera angle. More. Oh, happy holidays. Oh, they have the uh, clock sensitive happy holidays. Nice. We didn't get that in 06. That's nice. That's going to be nice to see if any of these other games recognize the same thing. Uh, same camera angles. And if I said they were great in one game, I'm not going to knock them for still being in the game. Don't they. The fidelity to maybe doesn't look as good. Maybe like the game was like more optimized uh, to show off the stadium or whatever. Like the, the look at that. The players closest to you, like not the players, the fans closest to you are like really focused, but the field behind it is like super out of focus, which is like kind of ugly for like something in HD. Like only the stuff close to you at the bottom of the screen, like the the you would almost want like inverted like you want the field to be like the main focal point of the camera shot maybe the people closest to you would be a little more blurry because like we're not focused on the people right next to us so that's like the focal points like a little bit of a mess right maybe they're trying to blur it out here in the pause menu for something um but yeah you can see the way that they've blurred out the crowd in the background and all that like this weird stylistic choice that maybe i don't like like they're trying to do like camera effects or whatever but it makes it look worse i don't know is that like rendering is it like a performance thing is it a visual decision i don't know the kicking meter is definitely better than the garbage that we had in 06 it's the classic right thumbstick i feel less dizzy with that i think they fixed that i was gonna say the commentator had more lines introducing the game Let's do uh, man zone, basic uh, cover two or cover five, two high man under. That's how a defense lines up in the huddle, not the offense. And now you've got like no time left. It's like too much um, show. Look at that play clock. Again, that's not how an offense huddles up. But you're still trying to be cinematic. One of the things that you're going to notice with these cinematics is they don't match what's actually happening on the field. You're going to see players lined up in such weird ways that don't match. Like, there are times like the defense looks like they're all up in goal line, but I call like a 3 4 defense. There's only like three guys down on the line, but they'll show like five guys with the linebacker stacked up and everything. Uh, once in a long time, you get to see this really weird animation of uh, or a cutscene or whatever where it's like you've got like the offensive line and the football is like behind the center's feet you know it's like where the ball is placed it's like the center lines up with his feet and then he, he gets in a down position on the defensive side of the ball it's so bad at times like the, it looks cool but it has like no relevance to reality Holmgren happy for his team. There's a huddle. Right, like that. Look at all the defensive linemen. Like that angle looked like they were up in goal line. Because it looks cool, but it's not what's happening. Oh, 
the defense calls a timeout. Yeah, they're going to let the clock run, okay? Again, we're not really trying to play it. We're just trying to look at it. What? The last time they fumbled on the return, it's the first punt of the game? Like, those little things. It's like, oh, the game is bad because you had this weird line. Like, no, but it's just... It's a pile of things, right? Like, a pile of nonsense. A pile of, like, low effort. Like, EA used to mean something. Right? That was exciting. Like the audio presentation, the sound of the ball swash, 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 swash in the air. Like there was a feeling of excitement if we were truly like at the end of the half and going for it. I mean, the defense is crap, and like it's easy to just you know sugar honey and iced tea on this game. But uh, yeah. We're playing on pro mode. It's not like, oh, I'm dogging on them. It's like it's the mode designed to make the user feel like a god out there, right? The power fantasy. You see how the player models still look muscular and all of that with their specific art design. But we've got a highlight play. We've got two highlight plays, right? We've got something here. Oh, the good guys, huh? Because remember, we chose the Niners, so we're on the 49ers radio network. He is full of good intentions, right? They wanted to hire allegedly voices for each of the different broadcast teams. Which would have been nice, you know, if they actually wanted to use the budget and hire the real-life radio teams you know, announcers, that would have been cool for both those announcers and the user experience to listen to Paul Allen if you're a Vikings fan, you know, and so forth, like, all the different names that they have out there. So let's the halftime show! All right, that's our halftime show, ladies and gentlemen. We looked at the scoreboard. At least you got something cool in the background um, beyond the stadium. Instant replay, features controls, all of that. Strategy settings, game stats. But we don't have highlights. Scoring summary. You can't view, it's not saving the replays. The drive summary, the scoring summary. There's nothing else that's happening. And that's the game, like... Was this worth $60 and buying over, like, waiting 406 to get improved upon? No. Are you going to look at the uh, PlayStation 2 version of the game? Are you going to look at ESPN 2K5? Are you going to, like, go to the store and say, hmm, do I want to drop $60 to play this for a year? Or are you going to just play Madden 07 on the PS2? Are you going to keep playing um, ESPN 2K5? Right? Remember, 2K8 hadn't come out yet. Right? 2K8 hadn't come out. Like, that wasn't a choice. So now you got 8. 
A, I don't remember the release dates. You can look them up. You can tell me. You can share your point of view. But I don't remember which came out first. But regardless, now you can go to the store. You can buy 2K8. You can buy Madden 08. Now, the casual gamer, they're just going to get Madden. The hardcore gamers, we got a, we got 2K8. And we know what we're talking about. But then you got to wait. Right? And this is what I said. This one feels like the finished product of the trilogy of games. Because we're going to see a massive art change, and I think a direction change with 9. But let's jump in and look at 8. Spent about 15 EA minutes Sports each the between the two games previously. I gotta mute myself for this intro. We're gonna get hyped for this intro. I mean, come on. If you don't get hyped to play Madden after that, I don't know you got a heart beating in your doggone chest. Like, regardless of what the game actually is, that, tr like, transition between real footage and gameplay footage, the thump and chest of the shield, like, that gets you hyped for pro ball. The collisions... And then you get to see the big catches. And then this volume control. Let's deal with that. Yeah, I don't want to kill. That also kills the mood so hard. You, you get that intro. Can you feel that thing in your chest? What's going to happen on this here field and all that? And then it's like, you get the music. I mean... I'm not going to dog on the soundtrack, but there, there is an emotional change there. Um, but look at this. This is the beginning of the Fortress of Solitude. We're getting further and further away from football. After that intro, we step back from football. We're like in a theater. Like we're in some kind of like trophy room lobby thing. So, you see, like, the posters of the games? Like, they want to really sell the history of prior Madden games. 04, 5 with Ray Lewis, 6, like, it's not just, like, the biggest dog on the planet. 7 on PS2 is one of the greatest selling Maddens of all time, is my understanding. Um, and then 8 this year. Like, they think they can hang the posters with those other titles, like a movie theater, like a cinema, like a whatever. Um, this giant ring builder garbage up there. Um, and the big floating EA logo instead of something interesting. 
like game footage, like players moving around, like real life NFL footage, like anything. It's just like a random Niner banner because that's like my team. Right, like that's it. Like even if I had the ring builder all filled out, like who would care? Like, oh, Jocelyn Rings, like sponsored by, like, come on. Give me a break. Game modes. Superstar. Franchise says new. What's new about franchise mode? Maybe we can look at that in a minute. Showcase. Don't care. NFL news. Okay, if I think of online. Sporting news extras, whatever. My Madden. Create a team. Like, this is a more complete game. Player management. And here's the thing. We're going to have to do it because I don't think I've got it saved. Maybe I do have it saved. Is uh, Randy Moss? Does it show his number right here? Yeah, they have him at number six. For whatever reason, they have him at number six. Let's click on him. And here we go from release and trade. We get edit player, folks. It took him a couple years. Six and seven took him three years. To give us the ability to edit a player. And they give us a reason to use it. Randy Moss did not have his uniform assigned uh, to him. And they had Dante Stallworth wearing number 18. So his Oakland Raiders 18 was taken. And he did not choose a number. At, at the time of signing, I believe. At the time that they made the game. So you go to Equipment. You can change whatever you need to change. Info. We can't change his hairstyle or anything. But we're going to go in. We're going to do what has to be done. Give him that 81. But equipment as well. He ended up going from full sleeve black to full sleeve white. Now, he was famous for his red gloves, which we can't choose. They have solid black. Solid team color should be red. They should have team color secondary or something. Offensive line, white, all line, black, team, fingers taped, fingers, hands. Like You get all these like choices so people can play their Barbie dress up. Standard white, standard black, standard team color, train track, main white, main team color. So there's solid white. That's what we're going to go with. He did wear white gloves at time to time, but uh, he definitely had the red gloves he was famous for. And he wore a lot of white long sleeves. So there are other times he didn't play with the sleeves. But yeah, and then like the thin black band, we're going to say nothing, if that's even possible, and how long it takes to scroll through all of that. We've got a lot more armband options, which are nice. You can change to sleeveless. Versus standard sleeves. I don't really remember what style that he went with at the time. But we can have this as the more compact sleeveless design. The more modern look. I think this is more of what he had. But not. I think he was more the long sleeve kind of guy. That they don't have as an option. So yeah, there's Moss. And yeah, there you go. You can edit players. So let's get back. Keep player without saving. Not like it matters. And so we got Randy Moss. We've got Tom Brady. And they're not 99s overall because it's not the roster update where they would get like super 99 abilities. This was a game where they started giving out 100s. I don't know if they gave uh, how many other 100s there were in the game. I don't know if the previous one with Devin Hester. I don't know if 07 had it. Let's go to the Bears. And let's go uh, speed. So Devin Hester, I think this is the game where they started giving out the rare 100s. Let's see any other uh, all all. Let's go 100 speed, 100 strength for Larry Allen, the strongest player in the league. Anyone got the agility? No one got that. 100 acceleration went to Reggie Bush. 100 awareness went to Brady and Manning. And that was before all the super... Um, like the super touchdowns by Brady. Trucking, no one got 100. Uh, Tomlinson got the 100 elusiveness. 
no ball carrier vision, no stiff arm 100. No spin move 100. It's not even a, well. You're not going to have that for the defensive line, but that'd be Dwight Freeney should be spin move on defense, right? But that doesn't work like that. Juke move Tomlinson got two 100 ratings, huh? No uh, 100% carry or 100 rating carry, not 100%. Catch, not anyone 100 there. Route running Marvis and Harrison gets the 100. Catch in traffic, nobody. Spectacular catch, not even Randy Moss. Gets the 100 spec catch. Brandon Lloyd and him are up there with Plexico Burris, all with the same spectacular catch rating. Release off the line, Steve Smith gets 99, but no one at 100. No one 100 jump, no one 100 throwing power, no one 100 throwing accuracy, or tackle, or hit power. Sean Taylor, rip, never forget. John Lynch still up there. Power moves, finesse moves. We can get into all that stuff later. But you get the rare 100s. They did give that out. Okay? What a roster this is, though, huh? And so you can edit players, and that's nice. And that's nice to uh, assign jersey numbers and do all the things you got to do in franchise mode. We can look at what's up with franchise mode. Well, let's play the game a little bit. And why don't we just have some fun? we got the player weapons and all of that. have a rivalry game. I don't know if they have Revis on this team. I don't remember what year they finally got him. We got Junior Seau and other weapons. Rodney Harrison, Bruschi, Brady, Moss, Light, Seymour, all of them. Dante Stallworth. See, they didn't even know Wes Welker at the time. Uniforms. They gave you alternate uniforms. That's right. Boys and girls, let's go to... Go to 49ers and um, classic Niners red on white away home. Let us have, we'll control the Patriots. Let's let Tom Brady go play at Candlestick Park because I don't think Tom Brady ever got to play at Candlestick Park. I don't know. Oh, it sets to home. Look at that. Classic Niners, home, classic Patriots, ouch, ouch. If we want to see the classic Niners uniforms, which they're not going to be good, um, they're not going to be good, but um, we'd have to play as the Niners, so I don't want to do that right now. I want to play uh, as Tom Brady, launch balls to uh, Randy Moss. Um, let's do that. Not home, let's go away uniforms. Let's do Candlestick Park. Let's do uh, three minutes, whatever. We're not going to play the whole game. Two minutes. Let's see if there's a halftime show at all. I don't think Tom ever got to play at the stick. I think when they played him early in his career, it was at New England. And when they played late in his career, it was at Levi's already. Point toss is still the same old whatever. Welcome to another game of Madden NFL. I'm Marshall Falk bringing you a breakdown of today's matchup. Here's a look at the matchup. Here's where I like as the favorite going in. And it's a pretty easy call when you break these teams down on paper. Look for at least an easy 10 point victory in this one. Let's get down to the field and get this one underway. That's right. Marshall Falk feels that the loser Niners are going to do better than the 18-1 Patriots. Okay. Not the real Marshall Falk, the video game version. Even when I turn the music down, we've got the PA playing music. Now we see the opposing team come out first with their weapons. I like that intro. So they don't have the logo on the helmets. This is like a true retro look. Here on your home for NFL action, EA Sports. 
Sports Radio. Looking up, there are a few clouds here and there in the sky today, but we're expecting nearly perfect conditions here in San Francisco as the New England Patriots take on the San Francisco 49ers. They get the chain link fence right and the hill and everything correct. The shots, the tone, like the accuracy, because remember this also had a baseball field and everything. It was originally a baseball stadium, right? Um, they got so much accuracy with that stadium, the hills, the background, like everything. Like they really have a lot of detail there. Um, and I, I miss the stick, a fantastic stadium, um, just for history and everything. A lot of us miss the stick. Uh, the way the field is, everything looks really nice. The, the way the audio is, the crowd, we don't have like the blurring effect that the previous game didn't have. We can look at the players' faces and models and everything. There's just so much that's just right about this. This feels like the game that you would have at least bought on this console. If this was 06, there wouldn't have been as much hate. Like, don't release that ugly, god-awful trailer that they did at E3. People are looking in the wrong direction. They're all turned around facing the camera. <laughs> Look at that. They're not actually facing the football field. Okay, so impossible crowds. Um, if they hadn't overhyped with that sizzle trailer is what it's called and if they had just released this if this had been 06 like the history of the story would have been much different but it took them 06 07 and 08 to get this game this one years. and you come from the ps2 it's just not acceptable Everything is smoother. Everything is nicer. Great? No. Just everything is smoother and nicer and not outrageous. I mean, does it look exactly like Alex Smith? No. But a lot closer to him than it did in the previous two games. Right? Does this look like ridiculous for the animation of the drop back? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven step drop. Standing there just bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down, ready to throw. Like, there is ridiculousness to it, but everything just kind of looks and flows and feels better, right? Brewski looks like Brewski, you know, again, stylized. The animations and coverage, like, they could be better. When you're comparing to 2K8, it could be better. You say, oh, like, you can nitpick. I mean, it is nitpicking. Like, okay, 2K has real-life players that did the modeling, which EA should do with their budget. They should be able to afford to bring in NFL players and do real motion capture work and all of that. Like, it shouldn't... Offensive line play shouldn't look like this. Right? It shouldn't look like that. Right? We should have, like, a proper kick slide... Like, that looks kind of nice for one step. Like, the ball is snapped. This looks like real football. And then not anymore. <laughs> like, and then it's over. We're done. We made it a couple frames, ladies and gentlemen. We made it a couple frames of looking like real football for a little bit, kind of. In some aspects. Right? But everything just feels smoother and nicer than previously. Boy, this sure is a lot of plays before I can get to nickel, huh? So it's second and ten. Ball on their own twenty. They line up at a one back set. They go with the toss to the right. Sandy in on the stop. Looks like a pickup of six or so. Talk about the running animations here. Very stiff. Not the best, like, blocking logic in the world here. You've got to be able to adjust your blocking to the front. That's a problem. He doesn't have the speed to do it. He doesn't have the pursuit angle. He's, like, 
I'm going to go get you. Okay, maybe I'm going to not go get you. I'm not going to chase you down the line. I'm not going to strafe you down the line or whatever. We're going to do this to get there. And you can just see like how stiff the running animations are instead of fluid and realistic they are. Or fluid and realistic they aren't. The tackle animations, even 06, though, are pretty solid. Like, they're clunky and you can feel them, like, stutter into an animation. But they've got that good hip drop tackle animation and others. The commentator is more alive in this game. That was a better play for the computer. Running play action right into my free rusher. I'm sending, well, okay, why is Mike Vrabel playing this position and not the other one? I'm used to him playing off the other side of the field. But he goes right in, he bites on the play action, he's gonna take him down, and then it's like, gotcha! And then got a good little pass there. That feels like some good football. Good double team tackle. That's something I talked about in Madden 03. It's like I don't want to stop every single play on the replay, but there's something to point out, like almost every play, right? Like the gang tackling animation. It's a sloppy transition. He's like getting juked out of his shoes, and then he goes from being juked out of his shoes to transitioning into a gang tackle animation. But they actually recognize that there's two defenders and that they want to do a gang tackle stop. Like little things like that. I know some people wanted to get super nitpicky at the time, like, oh, okay, it's like, you know, here, back, back of the video within the week, you know, you know what I'm saying, if you know, you know. Um, stuff like that could be cleaned up if EA and Tiburon just cared. If they cared. This is a game that showed that Madden and Next Gen had real potential to get somewhere. It gave you hope for another year. Third ball. Ball on their own 40. They'll bring in a dime. Going on right side. Protect it well. Complete pass. Pass completed. Repeat of 16. Well, uh, you got to be able to rush the passer. You can't give him that much time. That's something else that's uh, really nice about that. I mean, like, not nice. Like, you got to like, get the pressure out there. But, like, the computer was not just as dumb as it was when we saw the 06 gameplay. And he actually, like, looked around to find an open receiver. He didn't just, like, force garbage. Right? Garbage in, garbage out. He's not just forcing it to whoever. He's actually got, like, a step on the defender and gets it out there. Some pop in there. Ugh. Two minutes left in the corner. Now, like, knowing how talented the Patriots are, it's kind of ridiculous on this setting. 
that Vince Wilfork is just going to get, like, punked. Now, that's Larry Allen. So, I mean, I could see Larry Allen with 100 strength punking one of the strongest players in the league. Okay. And Jonas Jennings, though, punks Richard Seymour, too. And you get just, like, this feels like... I know Jonas Jennings is a very talented, strong offensive lineman from the Buffalo Bills. He's got, like, 95-plus strength or whatever in the game. I don't know about this game, but in in the uh, PS2 version it does, but... It's just like, oh, it's a must-have third down. You got to do something. You're rushing the passer, and like your two strongest guys who are like known really good at collapsing offensive lines just get completely dunked on like that. Like, okay. Let's try to have a drive. <clears throat> let's start throwing bombs to uh, <clears throat> Randy Moss. And let's see if we get any halftime show. To Randy Moss. Play action rollout? Nope. But well, we're going to run out of time. We just can't have a go route by Randy. If I didn't say it before, by the way, um, there were no hot routes in Madden 07. Or Madden 06, I should say. They were added to Madden 07. One, two, three, four. Launch it! The drags are still a mess in this game. Like, instead of truly dragging the route, I think it's a later version of Madden, it gets better. Like, he's just, like, running into guys. I mean, I guess you can also say the offensive line is blocking a little deep into the end zone, but, yeah, I was expecting him to cross over. <clears throat> okay, by formation, gun... Trips the tight end. It's second and goal. They'll bring in Richard D. Vincent for this one. Short throw, let's up. Supposed to be a little tunnel screen. Didn't uh, get it exactly what we wanted. Very similar to a two point play that the night. There's sorry, no, the uh, very close but not identical to a two point play that the Patriots made against the Falcons. Uh, to Danny Amendola was a quick screen. They didn't involve the offensive lineman going out there. It was just a quick tunnel screen of the sorts. wasn't executed exactly like I wanted. Didn't expect the guy to just run into each other, but it's Madden, so you kind of also do expect that. Just looking for uh, the back shoulder fade, just tapping like lob, hoping that it could have like forced, hoping to have forced like a back shoulder lob. Didn't work like I wanted it to be. Oh, 
Okay, well, we failed to score. That's okay. Don't really care. This is all kind of a weird mess. We've got to be able to get the ball off. And it's just like, I don't know what the route running of this is like trying to be. It's all just kind of a weird... Like, I don't have like the plays memorized of like where the locations are of the red zone plays are. Just trying to execute something with the clunkiness of the game. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. It's first and ten. All on the one are those passes to Moss going to get us in the highlights for the halftime show? Is there a halftime show? I don't really remember. <clears throat> 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, half time. So after the first two quarters of play, the score is 3 set. view replays like you have all of these plays right yeah you can it's not just the ones that they highlighted you can view all the replays of the game right or sometimes there are errors like one won't load up but it's a complete game that's the thing eight felt like this is what should have been what you start with with 06. Now, I don't want to dig too far into the weeds over franchise mode. But, uh, where is it? Game modes, franchise, they say new. I think they just like to slap that on there for whatever reason. The interface is a little bit different. It doesn't really matter. You gotta press the X button? Okay. Just like the team at the A button. You can actually start setting up your franchise mode if you actually want. You can like make adjustments. That's pretty good. Like, you couldn't do that before. Like even if there were settings, like I didn't see them. Now we're enabling the franchise. See, that was a feature. Preseason. Let's see. Um, where the back button? Here it's loading. Yeah. Front office mode, financing, schedule, roster, coaching stats, league news, all of that. Player management. We're the Niners. Um, yeah, you don't see potential here, right? You see how close he is to getting another player weapon? Or how far away he is from like losing another one? I don't know. It shows that shield, but it's not gold yet. And we see the pluses and the minuses for a few positions, right? Yeah, here. Awareness... Strength? Why does he lose a strength? Is like a coach causing him to be not the 100 strength that he is? Like in franchise mode, is he worse than he is in let's play in online mode? Wow. Okay. So you get to look at your players, but you cannot see their potential. But they have potential. I don't want to open up that can of worms too much right now. But the original... Or not the original. The yeah original Xbox, PS2 era... Progression and regression had to do with, like, stats, performance, age, things like that. They introduced a potential rating. And they hide it. It was hidden um, from the users before. And later it would be revealed, like, with a bar, then with a grade. It would just change over time. 
but it was hidden here and a lot of people complained whenever they went to franchise mode and guys would just randomly progress and regress 2,000 yards with Frank Gore 2,000 yards with his backup didn't matter like 2,000 yards with Maurice Hicks is not going to go up and down it's because of his progression rating not his progression rating his uh, potential rating so that's a look at franchise mode and that's a look at 08 and now we want to look at the future games Okay, instead of looking at the future games right now, uh, I have been visited, and it is time for us to take a break, and I'll probably upload the next video, where we want to start looking at Madden 09 and beyond, and I look at the clock, we've been just over an hour here on this Christmas afternoon, and I don't feel I've broken the promise to look at the other games with you, because I have been asked to uh, step aside and say goodbye to family members who are going out for the evening. And we've been able to look at these three games, and we're going to look at the others in sequence. So hopefully upload this video and start the next one. See you on the other side.